Hello, my name is Ekaterina Nipovin. I'm a doctoral student from Lepinrantalacht University of Technology, Finland, and the topic of my presentation is semis network based patch pattern matching for ingot seal reidentification. The Samarin seal is a suspicious of iron seal living in Lake Sarma, Finland. Because of climate change, Samarin seal is currently critically endangered and requires conservation activities in order to avoid total extinction. Mankind is the seal's sole enemy and net fishing is its greatest threat. Successful conservation requires constant population monitoring. Traditional population monitoring methods are usually invasive and include catching and installing sensors on an animal's body. However, the process has a negative effect on animal's health. Samarin seals have a distinctive fur pattern that is unique for each individual. It does not change significantly over the course of seal's life. Reliable population estimates are fundamental to the conservation of endangered species. We use uh, photo identification and marker capture techniques for the population size estimation. Our proposed identification algorithm is based on comparing different seal pictures to each other. Each seal is converted to a pattern image with a pattern extraction algorithm. These pattern images are divided into patches and patches are then compared to each other. The end goal of this research is one shows seal identification. The pictures and the data set are obtained from outdoor surveillance cameras which are triggered by movement. Not every picture collected that way is useful. For example, some pictures might not contain the seal at all. There is also no guarantees which part of the seal will be visible or if the illumination is suitable for the pattern extraction. Our testing identification data set consists of 46 individuals. For each individual, we made a database which contains the minimal set of images sufficient to the present all areas of the fur from all sizes. Database contains contain from 3 to 10 images per seal. Testing dataset contains about 2000 images with challenging cases. Automatic methods for the identification of individual animals have been proposed for various species. However, the identification of ringed seals introduces some additional challenges. First, large variation in possible poses is further exacerbated by the deformable nature of those animals. This, in addition to the fact that the pelage pattern is not uniform and depends on the visible area of the animal, limits the size of the regions that could be actually used for the identification task. Second, the contrast between the ring pattern and the rest of the pelage is low, and the appearance of the pattern varies between wet and dry fur. Finally, image quality of automatic camera traps is typically low, which might lead to the loss of details. These challenges make the identification considerably more difficult for ingot seals than, for example, for zebras with clearly visible patterns and limited variation in the pose of the torso. We have built a full framework for the identification of Samarin seals utilizing pattern matching. The framework starts with CNN-based segmentation of the seal from the background. This step is crucial since most of the images are obtained using static camera traps. Therefore, the same seal is often captured with the same background, increasing the risk that the supervised identification algorithms learn to identify the background instead of the actual seal if the full image or the bounding box around the seal is used. This may result in a system that is unable to identify the seal in a new environment. After segmentation, the seal is cropped to a bounding box. Pattern patches are then extracted from the query image and the best matches for each patch are searched from the database of patches extracted from previously known seals. The final identification is done based on the similarity of the pattern patches. Each patch of the query image is compared to all patches from the database image and a similarity heat map is built. Local maxima are used as candidates for this patch projection. A geometrically aware algorithm then selects suitable projection sets for the entire image and ranks the comparative similarity. The first step is to segment the seal from the background. We use DeepLab, the state-of-the-art learning model for cementing image segmentation.
To make sure that the pellet pattern is fully covered in the seal segment, two additional post-processing steps are applied to the segmentation maps. In order to close the holes in the pattern, both internal and external, we apply slicing window convex hole on the condition that pattern in a current window is not connected. This allows us to preserve a general concave outline of a seal while closing potential open holes in the pattern. Smoothing of the image is a simple two-pass Gaussian filter with stress holding to keep the mask binary. Smoothing gets rid of blotty artifacts produced by our hole closing algorithm. Images of the submarine seals are very diverse. They are dating from various distances and viewing angles. The submarine seals are characterized by low mobility but large variability of poses. The fur pattern covers the entire body of the animal and doesn't have any specific location. In addition, due to the fact that the images were obtained from the camera traps in different weather conditions and with different lighting, there is a significant amount of excess noise. In order to remove noise, to avoid learning of the superficial characteristics and to reduce the amount of data needed to train the identification algorithm, the pellet pattern is extracted from the segmented ACL images. The pattern extraction algorithm is based largely on the tubeless filter with the processing steps to increase fidelity. The first step for pellage pattern extraction is applying a SATA tubeless filter. This filter can be used to detect continuous ridges like tubes or rivers. It's well suited for the submarine seals pattern extraction since their patterns are mostly continuous ridges that form rings and other shapes. The second step is a sharp masking. This operation makes uh, the pattern sharp and more easily distinguishable. The next step is removing segmentation border, which heavily influences the SATA filter. This step is necessary since the segmentation border is detected as a rich with SATA filter, but it does not belong to the pattern. The step number four is morphological opening using a disk structuring element. This operation allows us to remove small artifacts from the grayscale image. The next step is adaptive histogram normalization. This operation is performed in order to make the image brighter without losing details. The next step is outsource stress holding and zeroing out pixels below it. This makes pattern edges well defined while still keeping pattern smooth. The last step is morphological opening using a disk structuring element to remove artifacts left from stress holding and after unsharpening mask again. This unsharp masking is weaker than the one in previous steps. It only needs to slightly sharpen the image after opening in order to keep the pattern well defined and well contrasted with black areas. Another noticeable problem with the submarine seals identification is that the visible part of the pellage pattern varies greatly between different images of the same seal. Therefore, the system should be robust to the seal pose and angle of viewing. To enable this, the pattern image is divided into patches that are then used to find corresponding patches in the known individuals. Dividing the pattern into patches also helps to keep the size of the network used for patching compact. Before the patch extraction, the pattern segment is cropped and scaled to the common size to make scale between images similar. Then overlapping patches with the common size are extracted. Finally, the pattern patches with the less than 10% non-black pixels are removed. In the picture, original patches are presented at the top two rows and the corresponding pattern patches are at the bottom two rows. In order to deal with the possible rotation variance of the patterns, the network has been modified to produce similar responses independent of the pattern rotation. Let G be the convolutional part of the network, F is fully connected part, capital theta is the set of predefined rotation angles, and X theta is the image rotated by the angle theta. Then the result of rotation variance pass is described by this equation. Essentially, convolutional part of the network is applied to different rotations of an image. The results are summed up before being passed onto the fully connected part of the network that generates the encoding factor describing the current pattern patch. 
For triplet networks, the training and evaluation processes differ considerably. During the training, the network receives three samples at a time – anchor, positive and negative. The anchor is a base image pattern patch. The positive is a sample of the same class as the anchor, patch from the same pattern of the same seal. And the negative is a sample of a different class from the anchor, patch from a different seal. The objective of the network is to encode these samples in a way that the L2 metric distance between the anchor and the positive is smaller, by a predefined margin, than the distance between the anchor and the negative. When the trained network is applied to the matching task, it takes a sample, pattern patch, as the input and produces the encoding vector, fixture vector. Our encoding vector consists of 512 elements and corresponds to the output of the last layer in the neural network. These encodings can be compared using L2 metric, uh, which makes it quite straightforward and fast to compute. The patch correspondences can be found by comparing the encodings of patches from the query image to all the patches from the labeled image in the database. Those correspondences provide the basis for their identification. It should be noted that the encoding vectors need to be computed only once for each patch, enabling efficient computation. The proposed re-identification algorithm ranks the similarity between two images, the query image and a gallery image, and can be divided into three main steps. The first step is patch similarity heat map generation to select candidates of corresponding patches in the gallery image. The patch similarity heat maps are generated by dividing both images into patches and comparing each query image with all gallery image patches. Local minima of the heat map, high similarity regions, are found and used as projection candidates. In the picture, we can see the example of the region similarity heat maps. The query image left and gallery image right. Heat maps for a query image highlight a single region that is being compared to the entire gallery image. Heat maps for the gallery image show regions which are most similar to the highlighted region from the query image. The second step is filtering and ranking. Candidate filtering is performed by selecting the projection candidates that preserve topological relations between original patches. We use a simple angle-based method to calculate the topological consistency in the candidate projection. The algorithm calculates angles for each three consecutive projection points and compares them to the same angles between patch center points. The total angle difference is the rank, lower is better, of topological similarity. Finally, the ranking is obtained by calculating the average weight of topologically similar projections and by selecting the one with the lowest average weight. This weight is the total rank of similarity between the query image and the gallery image. Here we can see topological projection candidates illustrated. Each local maximum found on a similarity heat map is a projection point on the one of the images. Correct projections are highlighted in the bold for clarity. The Deep Lab model was trained on 100,000 images using the TensorFlow Deep Learning Framework. A model pre-trained on the Pascal VOC dataset was used and transfer learning was applied changing the last network level to separate only two classes, the seal and the background. Intersection over union between the segmentation results and the ground truth was used as a metric to evaluate the results. The mean IOU over all images in the test set was 82% without post-processing the segments. With post-processing, the mean IOU of 91% was achieved. The slide illustrates the IOU distribution of the segmented images before and after post-processing. More than 75% of images have IOU more than 90%. In order to train the triplet network for patch matching, a dataset of 3,000 different labeled patches was collected. Each class corresponds to one manually selected location and the patch pattern of one seal, and each sample from one class was extracted from different images of the same seal. The dataset was further augmented by random rotation, scaling, and shifts. A different, unrelated set of patches was used to test the method. To demonstrate the usefulness of the proposed patch pattern, 
Butler method, the triplet network was tested to both uh, the original patches extracted from the segmented images and the processed patches extracted from pattern images. The results presented on the slide indicate that the pattern extraction clearly improves the results. This figure shows examples of patches being compared well despite differences in rotation thanks to the rotation and variance parts of the network. Patches on the right exhibit different angles of rotation compared to the query patch, and yet they show up in the top 5 comparison. The first example illustrates the case of robustness to the pattern deformation. The second example shows matching in the case of lost details, and the third shows invariance to small rotations. The data set for the evaluation of the full identification framework consisted of 2,000 images of 44 unique seals individuals. The identification framework was tested with several variables. The first is pattern extraction. The second is network rotation invariance. Finally, we implemented two different image identification strategies based on patch comparison. The first strategy is a simple patch voting based on the current nearest neighbors classification. The second strategy is the proposed heat map based topological error patch matching. The results are shown in the table. OG stands for original images, PAT for pattern extraction, ROT and no ROT signify rotation invariance, KNN is KNN based patch voting and TOP is topological layer where heat maps. The results demonstrate that the pattern extraction makes a significant difference and increases the performance of the whole re-identification. Moreover, KNN based patch voting is worse than topological layer where heat maps at re-identification especially with non-perfect patch comparison neural network. Finally, rotation invariance gives a small boost in performance and helps to alleviate some of the irregularities in the dataset. Currently, the task of identifying each seal is performed manually by experts, which takes considerable time and effort. Limiting the choice to a set of the best matches during manual identification is going to speed up the process significantly. The method can adequately present good potential matches from which an expert can make an accurate conclusion much faster. The picture on the slide shows examples of our identification results. Query images are presented on the left part and top four matches on the right. Correct matches, like same individual, are highly Lighted with green and incorrect ones with red. It's evident the proposed method is capable of handling complex cases when the pattern is only partially similar or rotated. In conclusion, the framework we proposed is species agnostic and by replacing the pattern extraction step, it can be applied to other animal species with a similar pelage or fur patterns. The data set that we've used in this project is not public yet, but we are working hard to make it available as soon as we can. When it's released, you will be able to find the link to it from the project page. I will be glad to answer all questions you have. You can find my contacts on the same page. Thank you very much for your attention.